Hey folks. Hey. hey. Say hey Drake. Hey. <laughs> Me and Drake man's out here goofing off and figured we'd give you all a little update on what's happening at Brown Town. As you can see we got the pond in the background back there. Isn't it looking nice? Yeah, it looks real nice. It looks nice, Drake. Pond looks nice. Let's see what we got back there. I bet a little somewhat of a beach for the kids to play on. Need some more sand, but we're gonna work on that at a later date. Got some of the dock stained. It's coming along nicely. Just got to get some decent weather and not be scared of rain. We've been feeding the fish. Where's my finger? Right over there. They've gotten to where they come up meat really, really well. And Braylon actually caught three or four bass right over here. Uh, last week, I guess it was. We got some top worms on the trees right now, but the top worms don't seem to work as well as regular red wrigglers out here. I guess it's these brim and little small bass just like red wigglers better. I don't know if I've shown it since I got my little storage building moved. I got a little worm bed right behind it. I got to get started on, but I guess the biggest thing to show everybody, you ready to show them this, Drake? We have no house anymore. The house is gone. No, my truck's not broke down. I had it over jumping the Jeep off that was parked under there this morning. But yeah, house be gone. Oh, um, wait, what is this? Holy Lord, the shop's built. Got the old ranger sitting in there. They literally just left. They showed up at about 6.30 this morning. Probably started working 7 o'clock, I guess, somewhere in there. And they're done. They delivered the materials a week ago. And the crew showed up today to start building. And 7 o'clock they started, and... Here it is, I think, probably 1.30, and they are finished. They're done. So we have a new 30 by 40 by 10 Gober post out of Oklahoma post frame building. I, the pad, as you can see, settled terribly bad through all the rains we've had, so I got to add several more yards, probably 40 or 50 more yards of dirt to get that level before they can pour concrete in it. Got my service pole moved over here it used to be right over there i moved it here so that the power line wouldn't be over the top of the shop and i'm gonna run underground power to the shop and then underground power over to where the house will be this pvc pipe right here is our water line that i've already put a t in a valve in that i'll be able to send water to the shop and send water to the house and what else is going on of course my grass is non-existent but i'm not going to try to do anything with that until we completely get through with the shop and all because i'll just be spinning my wheels but let's take a gander at the old shop here i got the insulated garage doors instead of just the regular roll-up style doors those supposedly helping keeping it heat and cooling we'll see there's gonna be bathroom over here toilet shower sink water heater and then right here there will be a countertop with a sink and whatnot for washing dishes and all. We're going to live in this while the house is being built. Probably have beds over here or something. I don't know yet. But I'm going to try to keep all my plumbing for water and sewer all on this side. Just to make life easier on that. But um, this has the bubble wrap insulation. Those are 8 foot tall, 10 foot wide doors. It has two windows and then a walkthrough door on each side. Like I said, they literally just left five minutes ago. So just figured I'd give a little update on what we got shaking around Brown Town. I hadn't posted anything lately because I'm lazy, but you know. We do have a lot of tough worms. As you can tell, that tree is pretty well skinned up. They gone. But that thing was loaded with tough worms over the last few days. What you think, Greg? Yeah. What are you doing, making mud balls? Okay, that's cool. Charlie, say hi. No, okay. The wife and two girls are gone shopping, so me and Drake man are gonna play in the shop for a while, so. I believe that's all I got for today. We should sign paperwork on the house the middle of this month, about June the 15th or so. Um, and then I think the guy that's gonna build the foundation is maybe a little ways out hopefully not too long out on getting the foundation done 
but Satterwhite with the logs, last I heard they were like 16 weeks out on just getting the logs here. And then it took them about four weeks to put it in the dry. So we're talking probably first of the year before we get to move into the new house. But we'll see, it's a long process, but we can finally see the finish line. We're starting to see progress, things are moving. And we're just moving right on along. So uh, about all I got for now, guess I'm gonna sit around here and drink beer and wait on the wife and kids to get home. And got a guy coming over here a little later to see how much dirt it's gonna take to fill all this back in to get it level. And I'm sure we'll drink beer then too. You know, Charlie will probably be wasting on whiskey, but that's about all I got now, folks. I will see y'all next time.